welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be a cool idea to show how much silver is in mixed relays. Um, I'll probably collect back a kilo, depends how much a kilo looks like. I don't really want to spend too long on this. Uh, we'll get a pot crack. Empty pot. So one, which is this size, they're just off motherboards, they're not any special ones, just a motherboard relay. One which is that size is almost 15 grams, so it don't take many to get a kilo. Obviously this one's broken, the top's come off. But as you can see, that little silver part, camera can focus. There you go, that silver part there, that little blob, is uh, roughly a 500 to 925 silver, which means half half of silver, half the weight of your silver, up to 92.5%. I'm not going to put include into this um, the small ones, which are like these, just because they weigh literally a couple of grams and silver in them, you can barely even see they're that small. I don't really want to be putting time into them. The only ones I bother with is the decently large ones and um, down to about that size so you've got, still got decent size um, silver contacts in them so this part one I'll be doing removing the silver from them well removing the little area with the copper around the outside and then part two we'll uh, weigh up what we've got and then uh, putting them in acid and then part three will be filtering them out the acid and seeing our result. I've got thousands of the little ones. The little ones if I was if I collected a lot, which I do, I've got a big giant box of little tiny ones. I'd put them in um well put them on eBay for sale. But even this one which is a lot larger than uh it's the same as this little one. But obviously a lot larger version and even the silver on them is barely you can just sit there barely visible so you can imagine how small they are on these ones we'll go to 500 grams four 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 fifty The ones which do have relays, they'll be marked with a K or a R on the motherboard. So if you have a look on them, and there's a K next to some. The ones which have like a C means a capacitor. So they'll have aluminium in. And they're not the ones you want to go after. I've still got plenty here, but I ain't going to do the little ones. we got 500 grams here. It's 500 grams of relay. That's not including the plastic either. So what we'll do is we'll uh, to do them. This one's already got them exposed because the top part's obviously broken off. The part we do is we snip because it's always on copper. It'll be on a copper piece. Snip, bend, and just snip them, and then you can see the copper and it's got a little bit of the uh, it's got a little silver plating part on them. So we'll move it, close cut to that. There should be a few in each one. It might be hard to get to, but in my opinion it's the best silver source on a motherboard. I was told apparently you should not mount the um, silver once it's been taken out because it's got some dangerous toxic metals in there. It's not worth exposing yourself to that for a little bit of silver. I'm doing the little one first, then I said well, aren't really worth doing. Hence why it's taking too long. It takes a lot longer than the big ones as well. It's not only do you get a smaller amount, but you have to spend twice the time to iron it. If you want, you can collect the, silver, the uh, copper out of it after. I'll show you. One sec. 
one last piece. So we've taken the part that had silver plate enough. If you want to collect the copper as well, let me find my cutters. Down here, it'll have like a little um, motor. So it's similar to a motor. We've got the copper pieces you can pull out. There's no silver left on it, so you can pull those copper pieces out if you want. To collect that. And then you have a little copper wound in there you can collect. I'll just stick them in with my copper motors. Let's do a larger one just to show you. Here's quite a big one. You can obviously you find you can find which isn't on a motherboard ginormous um, relays. So what I do is I just get a hammer, and a chisel, so we don't want to be doing that. <laughs> Back to like a few months ago when I used to drop my uh, camera every two minutes. I managed to get it quite stable, but this video is. And you just chip a hole into it and then you can just uh, break into it that way. As you can see in there, the silver which you're in them is going to be massive. A big chunk of silver and there's going to be a few of them. So well worth your time. Also they can, um, there's a possibility that it be Palladium instead of silver, which obviously is a bonus. You only actually have to get to that part. You don't need to get to this part because this part's just the copper wound in. That's where your uh, silver pieces are. If I just bend a piece back, the only reason this ain't copper is because it'd be like tinned copper or nickel nickel plated copper. And then you can see on there, ginormous. It's that big blob, ginormous piece of silver. So for that. In fact, I can use my cutter if it's that big. Uh, and as you can see, large piece there. That go in. We just weigh these actually, just to show you. In a sec, let me get all. Um, out. For ones like these, obviously are worth putting your time into um, collecting the copper pieces, just because the copper is fat. You can cut close to them, and sometimes, if you're lucky, the uh, silver part just falls out. Obviously it's not pure silver and also don't mount like I said. Uh, that should be the only part that has the silver. Back here it won't have silver. So as you can see you've got those three pieces. We can guess that over half the weight of that is going to be the little silver dots just because it's a lot larger than uh, the copper piece it's on and that's almost a gram. So you're going to get easily Almost, well, not easily, but close to half a gram of silver just from a little thing like that. I'll just show you by opening the rest of it up. I'll just use a screwdriver. As you can see, it's obviously uh, it's stuck now. It's obviously really brittle. If they're, if they're a relay, they'll always be proper brittle. If I open it up, I can show you the copper. It's a pretty good source of copper as well as um, silver.
how to chip away at it. As you can see there, you can see the copper wound in. So I cut myself, cut myself a chisel, so <laughs> that pulls the video. But anyway, um, another one here. And as you can see, the silver piece again. Right there. Let's bend them off. They'll be on top of each other because the way they work, they kind of like move back and forward into each other quite fast in the um, what's it in your computer. As you can see all the silver's off. Go into my motor pile. There's one here. Orange one, this one. You can almost always tell if something's a motor. You just look at it and it's the plastic would just be brittle. Quite often you can't even get it off the board without breaking it. Hit at the back of your hammer, <laughs> quick way. Like I said, they're brittle, you can see the way it broke open. And then you get the rubbish plastic. That's a good idea just to show you how it looks like. So you've got the copper under there. I'm sure you've seen on the motherboards the um these things in your motherboard. It's kind of the same design the way the um Copper is put in. Also, those things in your motherboard don't have silver, but this is quite a good one for silver just because you've got the three pieces of silver up there. You can see the three little pieces, and on the other side, you have three as well. So, that works the same way you cut and then break open, and then also you get all different shapes and sizes. I do them all off camera just to save time on the video. And then the silver piece again down there. Then you'll get this colour as well. And you see a hammer just completely breaks it up. If it don't break up like that, the chance that it's probably a capacitor, not a relay. And then once again, silver there. Anyway, I'll do them off camera, put all these to do. And then we we'll stick all the silver we do get into there. You'll see with the silver pieces. Um, I'll do it for part two. I'll show you what I got in part two. And yeah, I'll just show you put it in the acid. And then part three, we'll, um, we'll be filling it out and just seeing what we got. Once again, I won't be um, mounting it. It needs to be ref refined anyway. Just... You just basically switch between all the different tools just to work out what's best for some stuff. Sometimes the whole copper piece comes out with the um, silver pit stuff. Quite often the silver is black, oxidised. But again, these are quite large ones. 
pretty large piece of silver. Quite often the silver's on the uh, goes through to the back as well, so twice the amount. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for so many people subscribing. I swear we're close to 350 already, considering it was only two days ago. Not even two days ago. I was just about to hit 300. Hopefully we can grow the same throughout and reach 1,000 within a couple of weeks. That'd be amazing if we did, but I doubt it. Uh, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow showing the part two. And then part three will most likely be in a month's time. Same as the pins. The... Um, I'll do an update of how the pins are going for you for the IDE, not the IDEs, the um, RJ45 and the other type, just, as, just so you can see how far through it's gone. The IDE pins, I've not got a kilo yet, I'll probably end up having to only do 500 grams just because it takes ages and I also um, done all my IDEs not too long ago so there's not really many left on the, any of the boards to show but we'll see if I can get a kilo. It's going to be another few days yet, but I'll get as close as I can. And then I'll show other gold plate pins. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. When you subscribe, please press the bell next to the subscribe button like it shows on the outro. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. I -bye. wanted to show I cut close to one, like I was talking about a minute ago. As you can see, it's got a hole there. And because I cut close, the silver part fell out. Want to drop it and we've got just the silver part here yeah? i'm still sticking with the other pieces because the other side's copper like copper plated so it'd be good to get rid of the uh copper plated part but it means we can save more copper now if we want to um sell sell it 